I would like to welcome you to the 2007 Martin Luther King Jr. Tribute Luncheon presented by Wayne State University. I am Alicia Nails. I am the director of Wayne State University's groundbreaking Journalism Institute for Minorities. It's my pleasure to welcome you to a teaching and learning community that is about interracial, intercultural, and interreligious understanding. I would now like to present the Cody High School Color Guard, led by Cadet Sergeant Major Jasmine Johnson. Please stand for our national anthem, sung by the Wayne State University Men's Glee Club under the direction of Mr. Maurice Drone. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose was stripes and bright stars through the You may be seated. May we now observe a moment of silence in honor of the victims of Hurricane Katrina and in honor of the heroes of the Civil Rights Movement. Thank you. Our luncheon will now be served, and it is to be followed by a message from a, our keynote speaker, who is, of course, a true champion of justice and a living legend of the civil rights movement. Thank you. May I please have your attention? Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to now call the program to order, and I'd like to bring forward Wayne State University's Vice President for Government and Community Affairs, Mr. Harvey Hollins III. Good afternoon, and thank you for coming to this uh, event today. I'd like to also acknowledge our elected officials. If you are an elected official and, and you are in the audience, could you stand for us, please? And if, let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> State Senator Martha Scott, we appreciate you being here this, this afternoon with us. The state budget cuts of 2000 and 2001 had a tremendous impact on public universities, particularly Wayne State University. And as a result, we took action to streamline our operations without losing focus on our academic services and research. One of the casualties of those budget cuts was the MLK luncheon in the past. About a year and a half ago, President Reed said to the cabinet he wanted to bring the MLK luncheon back. He said this while knowing that Wayne State University was facing another $12 million reduction in state funding as a result of a legislative fun funding formula which functioned to redistribute our budget to other universities on the west side of the state. Now, in my short time of working for this university, <clears throat> I've come to know President Reed as an accomplished man, articulate in disposition and strategic in his direction. He has always expressed a passion for this city, but his decision to resurrect this luncheon is indicative of his passion for this community and this uh, area that we work in every day in our lives in Wayne State University. You... 
He has a passion for social justice. And so it gives me great pleasure to introduce to, to you a man who needs really no introduction on this campus, the ninth president of Wayne State University, Dr. Irvin D. Reed. Thank you very much, um, uh, Harvey. I appreciate that. Um, Harvey has been um, with us, uh, I think, going on three years now. Um, and uh, his organization uh, and his colleagues have uh, revived uh, community um, affairs. And what he did not mention is while this is one part of the uh, program that suffered under the budget cut, uh, the whole area of community affairs was eliminated uh, at the beginning of those, and only that has been uh, restored. So with Victor Green and Harvey and all of his colleagues, we are gr happy that we have this connection on a regular basis uh, with the community. Uh, so uh, it, it, hopefully we will be able to continue it. <laughs> Um, so on behalf of the faculty, the staff, the students uh, of the university, it is my, uh, indeed my pleasure to welcome all of you to this 2007 Martin Luther King uh, Tribute Luncheon, which we have entitled Civil Rights, Where Are We uh, Now? And before I tell you a little bit more about um, my thoughts about uh, all of this, let me um, introduce some members of the Board of Governors of Wayne State University who are here today. Um, beginning with uh, Jackie Washington, whom you will hear from a little later on, who is chair of our board. <laughs> and um, Eugene Dreiker, who is the vice chair of our board. <clears throat> and the, uh, the next person who is the uh, ultimate in multitasking, who's running several activities ongoing today, and she's going to have to uh, leave us because of the uh, order show and the events that she has on not only on behalf of, of GM but on behalf of the city. Uh, Debbie Dingle, the newest member of our board. <clears throat> so, Debbie, I know you have to leave, so um, I, I, I thank you very much for stopping by and saying hello. She's been very active, as you know, on the activities for uh, proposal uh, two before. Uh, the election and continues to work very, very hard um, in trying to figure out a way that we will accommodate uh, our activities while maintaining diversity within our state. Um, during his uh, Nobel Prize acceptance speech in Oslo, uh, Norway in December of 1964, Dr. King said, I have the audacity to believe that people everywhere can have three meals a day for their bodies, education and culture for their minds, and dignity, equality, and freedom for their spirits. Nevertheless, we still live in a world where millions not only die from starvation, but do not have the opportunity to expand the horizons through education and exposure to culture and diversity. Wayne State University is a major research institution with an urban mission. Our diverse and wonderful community includes students and faculty and staff from every corner of the globe, from Detroit to Dubai, from Michigan to Mexico. Although we are proud of who we are, we know that we have much that has yet to be done. As we gather to honor Dr. King, let us remember his passionate pursuit of social justice and his unwavering belief in the power of collective action to transform the social climate of our nation and the world. His words leave us with a blueprint to follow as we fashion a community where people from all walks of life have a better opportunity to cultivate their inherent talents and to participate in the body politic in the way they select as most meaningful to them. Today's theme, Civil Rights, Where We Are Now, is fitting for the challenges we face today, right here in Detroit, from adjusting to the reality of Proposition 2 to creating the health care needs of the uninsured and the underinsured. Wayne State University is committed to honoring Dr. King and his philosophy. More importantly, it is important that our commitment not end with this luncheon and when the day concludes and when his birthday, official birthday, actually ends. <clears throat> 